we back. Part two, bro. This is crazy. The last time I interviewed you was July 18th, 2020. So crazy. it's changed though since then. Like you want to hold it in your career, bro. It didn't it be a year from now, so like down there. Well, yeah, uh-huh. over a year. Months. Huh? 13 months. Yeah, for real. So much shit didn't change, bro. Like things. Man. Hey, hey, you wanna know what's really changing? What? Here number here seven seven seven. And that's the one of the things that I, I wanted to talk about the name change, man. So talk about the original name and then like the origin of it and then the change and, and how it's no more CTG in front of your name. Talk about that, man. Man, really? So I wanted to rebrand everything for real for myself. I wanted to give myself basically a different look. So I changed my name. And plus, I didn't see like quite a few people that had a little CTG shit in front of that shit, but I ain't never knew who that was type shit. And I was like, man, fuck all that shit. I'm going to really just rebrand myself. So I just ended up thinking of some shit. Came to the close and me 770. Now, where does 77 come from? So, seven, the sevens come from, so they used to, they called me my, my, I guess you could say my family name is like Lucky, if you want to say that. Like my family nickname type shit. So, and yeah, so that's where the sevens come from. When you 777 is like damn near luck type shit. Like you go hit the lottery, you play the little slot machine, they got the little 777 slot games and shit too. So, yeah. You ever thought about adding another seven? Just, just because like 777? <laughs> Uh, I ain't think about that shit, but I, it wouldn't, I mean, that would kind of be stressing me, like, mellow, like, type shit, I don't I, I, know. I understand where you're coming from. How you feel when the basketball player had the little thing on Instagram where his L turned into a seven, where the mellow basketball player. Oh, Carmelo? Yeah, for the Lakers. I didn't know if that was mellow uh, ball or Carmelo. I just saw mellow. That was Carmelo. So, I mean, shit, I ain't feel no really type of way down there for real, because, like, Cause that shit was crazy. Yeah. Cause you rebranded before that. Yeah, I rebranded before that, but it's like uh, <coughs> I, I didn't really care for real. I he wasn't even like, seven like that. Like he started off at number fifteen. Yeah. yeah. I, well, no, nah, he started off at seven for the Knicks. When he first joined, he was with uh, the cap. When, when he was with Denver, he was fifteen. Oh, yeah, 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 he was 15, he was 15. Yeah. But see, I, I don't know, bro. I really ain't care about it. Game anyway, because you hoop like Melo, so. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, like they, they said I hoop like Melo, so that's where Melo even came from down there. Yeah. So. so you just dropped a project, 777. Yeah. Is it an album, an EP? Uh, oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's an EP for real. I don't want to call it an album because I ain't really, but it's like structured like an album down there. But it's not an album because I ain't like any every individual song. Like I ain't really, I know I can critique and master that shit a little way better. You know what I'm saying? So it could really be put together as an album. Like I ain't really, when I made the mixtape or whatever the EP, I ain't um I ain't come in with like a structure for real. I just was making songs and then was putting them together. That's how that shit was for real. So you from Michigan, Flint to be exact. So Michigan yeah. got a certain sound and you didn't really, and I know you personally, so I know you do songs that sound like you from Michigan, but I don't think on the deluxe or the first one, it was no Michigan sounding songs, if I'm not mistaken. You do that on purpose? Or is it, is it something? Uh, I probably got like two kind of Michigan sounding songs on there. Yeah. That's on the deluxe type shit. Cause the what's on the first one, the first what's on the first type is what's on the deluxe too. Right. Y'all ain't know that. So um <laughs> yeah. So I really I that's just my sound, man, for real. Like I mean, I started off on 
on Michigan. When I started first started rapping, I started off with the Michigan stuff. So I don't know. I just feel like it's too easy for me. Not really too easy, but I just feel like like I didn't hurt it a lot. I want like something a little different, new, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's I, like, what I feel like personally, your shit that don't sound like you from Michigan sound like the best. Mm-hmm. Like when you sing with the auto tune, that to me that holds more weight than the Michigan sound because you from Michigan, you can do that shit, that Michigan sound because you're from here. You know, mm-hmm. it's easy for you to do. That's like having a nigga from Chicago to do drill music. Like, I feel like Chance could probably do drill music, even though he never did it, just because he's from right. Chicago. So the fact that you can do something that's completely different than drill, I mean, the Michigan sound, it just shows your versatility. Because you be yeah. sitting like a motherfucker, man. I be, I be watching you record. And, like, and also, you be turning like, into, like, magic. If y'all really, if y'all really ain't know, <laughs> this nigga didn't witness me see, make the whole 7-7 project for real. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my dog, which is my favorite song on the project. You sent me like a snippet of it and it wasn't done. And I'm like, bro, oh, what is you doing? This song is great. And then you end up finishing it like an hour later. That shit, like one thing about you when you lock in, you finish songs quick. And they be good. They don't be trash songs. Yeah. And for those who don't know, I don't write when I make music. I just make music. Yeah, he, I never seen this nigga hold a pen or a pencil in my life. I don't know if he left handed or right handed. <laughs> For real, I ain't never seen this nigga write something. What's your favorite song off the first one? The, the, not the deluxe. The first, the, not the deluxe, but the original. Uh, that's a hard one. I know know your favorite song. I know your favorite song, Changes. Changes in my dog. Yeah. yeah. Changes, yeah. Changes is my favorite. My first song, I mean, my favorite <laughs> song got a celebration. This cause it's it's different. Like it's easy for me to make that pain song, like most of the pain songs, cause I that's I'm really just telling my life for real. You feel what I'm saying? Change, I mean celebration. I kind of had to had to like think outside of a box. Just a little bit. Just to piece it together and make like a, a theme to it. You feel what I'm saying? Make like a little story to it, make a little make it sound good. Yeah, every song on part one, I can see like a movie like a video sequence. Like every song goes like into the next song. Mm-hmm. That shit, that shit is hard itself. You, uh, which some ones you gonna shoot a video to off the, the first half? Or if you mm-hmm. stay tuned. Stay, stay tuned, cause stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> when you did changes, is that about somebody? Changes. You know who it's about? Like, is it about? Like, did you have somebody in mind or multiple people? Mm. So the first part of changes. <laughs> really, man, this the the the, the whole. If any song that I make really is about my life, real life. So then I can't just say it's like it's about somebody in particular, right? It could be about quite a few people. That makes sense. Yeah, and I just, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, this is how I make my songs sometimes, like, like I may be going through this situation with somebody and going through this situation with somebody else. And I can make it, and I can put that together in a song, like put both of those situations in a song. And you would think I'm talking about somebody in particular, but I'm not. Like, it's just like, maybe I'm talking about, okay, this, this part of the song, I'm talking about them, this part of the song, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ever made some music and then people heard it and called you and was like, hey, you talking about me? Nope. Never. That's and even if they did, though, I wouldn't care. Like, like the type of person I am, like, I'm, I'm kind of like, I keep it real with you, like, 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 yeah, like, like, yeah, I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you both know what, what went down, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I so, keep it real. And uh, <clears throat> when you started your verse off on changes, you said, my dog, my dog, my dog. Did that inspire the song, my dog? Yeah. My dog, my dog, my dog. That's what I'm saying. So, my dog. <laughs> then you made 
my dog. So so I made changes. First. I made changes. I made changes in my career. You made every song of your album. My dog, no, I made that. I kind of made that on the plane. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was on the, I was on the airplane, and I was, uh, I heard the beat. Like, all right, bet I got a little hook for this a little bit, and I kind of wrote along like a little concept, cause I couldn't record on the plane and shit. They, my motherfucker would have been tripping. Right. <laughs> so, I kind of wrote down a little concept for how like the melody supposed to be. In my little notes, and that was it. And then that's where I just got my dog, my dog. You didn't been through it all. Yeah, I love that song. That's my second favorite one. Off. That's my second favorite off the first half. And then you got uh, Gucci Gabbana. Why did you name it Gucci Gabbana? Is it just because it was in the hook? So when I made Gucci Gabbana. Uh, Cause the standout part of me is she a good girl now. That standout huh? Gucci Gabbana. Well, uh, I, I named it Gucci Gabbana because that's like the first thing I said. She wrote that Gucci Gabbana. That's why I named it yeah. Gucci Gabbana, and I wanted it like a, a kind of different title. I ain't yeah. want no simple title. Then you know what I'm saying for real, for real. But I made. <laughs> I made Gucci Gabbana when I had COVID. I had COVID and made Gucci Gabbana. Okay. People ain't even know that. Yeah. Well, the longest, <laughs> that was my favorite song by yours. Mm -hmm. I remember telling you, like, man, you ain't top Gucci Gabbana yet. And then you did <laughs> And then you did My Dog. And then you did the whole 777. And now yeah. Gucci Gabbana yeah. not even in my top. Top 20, probably. Because you got so not even out that's hard. That's crazy. Crazy. I got takes. That's that's not even out. Probably not just me on there. You feel what I'm saying? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting on I'm sitting on some stuff, man. I already know. What's your favorite between Gucci and Gabbana? What's my favorite? Yeah, between like Dolce and Gabbana and Gucci. Uh, uh me personally, I got a lot of Gucci stuff. So Yeah, you do. Gucci. I didn't know if you was gonna say it on camera. You got a lot of Gucci. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of Gucci stuff. So, I mean, that's always been me. Like, I had a lot of Gucci stuff. Even though people try to band it, saying something about, you know what I'm saying, saying about the brand was racist, this is not. Yeah. Nine times as a 10, though, like anything that you, you can go to Walmart. Walmart could be racist, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, I really don't, I mean, I'd be aware about the situation. I just don't think that too much of it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you start supporting everything, like, it ain't going to be nothing that you're going to be really messing with. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Out of all the songs you recorded on the first and the second half of 777, you got any, like, crazy studio sessions? I know the session that you and Peso on y'all record had to be somewhat entertaining. Me and Peso. <laughs> Man, so man, when me and Peso linked up, I ain't even seen Peso for for like a minute before I did that uh, song because I had COVID. You know what I'm saying? And after that, uh, we just wasn't on each other's time, so we ain't linked for like a month, two months, something like that. And then, so when we just came back, it was just like nothing really happened for real. You know what I'm saying? We kicked it. You know what I'm saying? And then <laughs> that still was true too. But hey. Yeah. The, the, the song was titled something else, but Yeah, I remember. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why was, why was it that title? We ain't gonna say what it was, but you said why? Yeah. It wasn't that title. Uh, uh I'll just leave it like that. So, like, a song on your album that I feel like is extremely personal, they say. I feel like that might be the most personal song on the project. Mm, that sounds like you talking to somebody. Hey, so, so, <laughs> like I said, when I be making my songs, it, it do be about my life. So, a lot of people tell me, I mean, I'm just literally telling you what they say about me. Like, you know what I'm saying? They say that I'm not a salon. 
You know what I'm saying? They gonna keep the same energy when I go up at the top type shit. This is literally, bro. Like all of that, I'm not like just talking about one particular person because I didn't hear it. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't hear that quite a few times out of my life or whatever. I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just decided to speak on it that day. One of my favorite songs on the project is "Let Me See It." Let me see it. <laughs> I can't wait for you to shoot that video. That shit gotta be man. Let me see it. What really inspired me to make let me see it for real? So I mean, pretty much if y'all don't know, if y'all didn't know, me and bro and them be going to the strip clubs kind of frequently. I know he go more frequently than I do, but we you know what I'm saying. He like the strip club, so. I just like to make a little, you know what I'm saying, something for that kind of environment, somewhere in that little entertainment world, you feel what I'm saying? So that's how I made that song. And I wanted it to be a little different. It was, it, It's unique, you feel what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. got that style. So. It don't sound like no other song. No other song at all. Yeah. <laughs> as far as For the Night, like when you listen to For the Night, it's pretty self-explanatory. So you don't ever be <laughs> about, like you don't ever be worried about people thinking you a certain type of way. Like when you hear a song like for the night, like I said, it's self-explanatory. So like a nigga who made a song like for the night, you would think like, oh, he not serious with women, or he don't want to date or get married, or nothing, mm-hmm. like that. or is it just a song? So I mean, really, I don't, I don't be. Worry about people's opinions, to be honest, because if you take too many opinions, like you ain't gonna know what you're gonna think about it for real. You know what I'm saying? So, so like for the night, I mean, you could you could take it how you want to, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was it's part it's part it's parts in my life where I was just like, maybe I just want it for the night, but it's parts of my life that I just like, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm, I'm really trying to, you know what I'm saying, build with this or see how far this goes, this, this, and that. Or it could be like, I was really trying to build some this, and this, and that, but then I peaked out some stuff, so it just got to be for the night. It, it's a lot of ways that you can, you know what I'm saying, think about that situation. So, because yeah. things do happen, and, you know what I'm saying, we, it's life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it, everybody just ain't take everybody that they talk to seriously. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, girl, I talk to I don't take seriously. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, like, <laughs> man, hey. Now, nah, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I agree. That was the real answer you could have gave to that question. Now, you, you a crispy ass nigga. <laughs> There's only one outfit that we're not going to talk about that I disagree with. <laughs> well, other than that, you a oh, quiet ass nigga. And we talked about how you model before. You ever like thought about doing more of that? Well, modeling? Yeah. Because well, it, it seemed like the easiest thing you could do because it's like you just wear clothes and take pictures. I mean, like getting booked and shit is the hard part. But like, bro, mm-hmm. not like rap where you got to record get shit clear and release dates and record label stuff? Well, I can say like any any entertainment industry, right, is like difficult to get into. And it's, it's hard to find like, um, like people that's really serious or people that's, that really say they are who they are. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like even in rap or Anything like like acting, you know what I'm saying? They might, oh, I got this this connection, this and this and that, and it really it don't be nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's all about how like the connections at the end of the day, and that's that's what really any business in general. You feel what I'm saying? So, sure. uh, but have I thought about it? Yes, I mean I've thought about it for sure. Thought about doing a lot of things. I, <laughs> really, I. Really, what stopped me from doing a lot of things because I really think about doing a lot of things. Like I made my own clothing at one point. You feel what I'm saying? I did a whole bunch of things. You feel what I'm saying? It just I be trying to do too much at one time, so when I be losing focus of where I really like, even though I like to do it, really love to do. You feel what I'm saying? 
I, I lose my my focus with that. And then when I get to slacking off with that, it just be like that. You just got a whole bunch of twenty five percent that you didn't put in in each category. You feel what I'm saying? That when I could be putting a hundred here, okay, I didn't build that. All right, now let me build this one. You know what I'm saying? See how far that go. And then I got people under me that that can. I mean, well, not really under me, but that can help me. You know what I'm saying? Start this or boom. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I totally agree. You gotta build up first before you you move to kind of like the next situation. And yeah, that's where I what I had to learn. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. As far as like different things that you're trying to build up, did you do you focus on what you like the best or what's working the best for you? As, what? as far as like, do you focus on music more because you love it more or because it's it's what's working the best between modeling? Yo, you, yo, other YouTube channel with like reactions uh, and like yo, yo, photography. And you used to shoot videos. Like, nah, really, I I miss with music. I love music. Like I, I grew up listening to music. I grew up in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew I was making beats at seven. Like, yeah, I it's just music. Music always been around me, but. So music is like a, a therapy to me. So like, I, I'm gonna make music regardless if I don't make no money off of it or not. You know what I'm saying? It is like me writing down, it's just like me going to a therapy session and just letting me, let me talk for real. You know what I'm saying? I used to be an anti-social person for real, for real. Like I, I would talk to you when I wanted to talk to you type stuff. Like I wouldn't go out to anybody and just be like, ah, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was an anti-social type of person, bro. Like, Mm, I used to think people was weird for being over friendly and stuff like that. Still feel like that. <laughs> like, I remember I met this girl. I ain't trying to make this interview all about me, but I remember I met this girl on Tinder. She was like, what kind of girls you like? And I said, I like standoffish girls. Like, if I walk up to you and try to talk to you, I kind of want you to be hesitant, because what if I'm trying to, like, kidnap you or some shit? Like, you're yeah. just happy-go-lucky. Like, oh, hey, what's up? It's almost like, bitch, you don't know if I'm crazy or not. Right, and I don't know what you want from me. I don't, I don't know what type of time you on, like, like yeah, especially like, where we from. Like, like, I, don't, I ain't actually where we from. Cause I, don't, you never know. Like, I don't never. That's why I was like always like standoffish or like antisocial. <laughs> I told people you, be on weird stuff. People weird. I totally get where you're coming from. Cause like people think I'm. Oh, like friendly, cause I do YouTube, but it's like, I love music. But that don't mean, if you watch me, you can just walk up to me and just try to like, cause it's like, what if I don't know you? I don't know what you're gonna do. Like, it's been plenty of famous people who, a nigga that act like he a fan will walk up on you and they do something to you. Mm -hmm. I, I'd rather motherfucker like, show love from a distance because you don't know their intentions. Mm -hmm. At least still a motherfucker out first. Yeah, for real. I, but uh, speaking of all your other shit, you got, like I said, the YouTube channel where you did reactions and you was going to do other stuff on it. You ever going to get back to doing that? Yes. But just posting on that, on that YouTube channel. On that platform. Yeah. So I was, uh, I was thinking about it. Because <laughs> I always say you and your brother got to take the pop on YouTube. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to, right now, I'm, I'm in this situation where I'm thinking about uh, doing some other stuff on that channel, like rebranding the whole channel because, like, the reaction stuff, mm -hmm. copyrights and stuff like that. It just be a lot with the reaction stuff sometimes. I just be like, dang, like, I'm putting in all this and to, for my stuff, for me not to even post a video, like, to the point, to an extent sometimes. So I just be like, forget it sometimes. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but yeah, I've been uh thinking about doing some different stuff to the to the channel. Um I either been thinking about doing that or just like kind of getting rid of that channel, just doing a lot of stuff on my music channel and just make that like a whole uh little, little you know what I'm saying thing where you can see all oh, right, you seeing this and this and this and that. But that's to be that's I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah. Yeah, because I don't know your brother as much as I know you. I only talk to him, whatever. Y'all around each other, he say something to me, 
But I feel like y'all got star power to where y'all can be like CJ Choku. Mm-hmm. Got the lifestyle, y'all got like the nice materialistic stuff. Y'all got nice bubbly, well, not bubbly personalities, but y'all got personalities that can get attention. So right. y'all would kill the YouTube shit. Yeah. But then I'm, I'm, I'm like the type of person I go too, though. Like, uh, I don't like everybody in my business. Like, <laughs> I, I mess with people in my, like, like, it is if you know, you know. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't, I don't, I, because everything ain't meant for everybody to see. You see what I'm saying? Or every, everything ain't meant for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Even though that's going to happen anyway, but it's just like, uh, me personally, I just don't want to put my, business out there and then y'all have like I don't know you know people is weird they make I don't know you know how shade rooms and stuff be doing stuff people I was gonna my next like question that. but uh <laughs> shade room question like I totally agree with you because I would never vlog unless I'm like doing something that has to do with my career but I'm not like on vlog and so yeah. so so my friend or so my house and them like that so I totally yeah. understand the privacy shit because niggas ain't getting no regular vlog out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be going to like the BET Awards if I'm vlog complex con or some shit. Some consistently or some, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to be doing some. Well, I gotta be like going to the strip club or something, something that's actually a part of my career, not just my life. Right. Yeah. So like as far as right. like, shit, Y'all get my y'all get my business most likely out of out of my music. <laughs> That's it, really. If you want to be honest. So speaking of you, like not wanting people in your business, you prepared for that shade room shit? Cause like every time Drake goes somewhere with a girl, a nigga in the bushes take a picture in the shade room. Like, oh, Drake got three different girlfriends this week, and then mm-hmm. you won't criticize you. Oh, you a womanizer, misogynistic. Really, I don't care what people think about me. To be honest, like I, I'm prepared for it, but I'm just not like I ain't tripping about it. But I'm not just going. Oh, I'm going to the dry cleaners today. Come <laughs> with me. Yeah, you feel know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get it. And then I always look at like that share room shit to be like, or just the paparazzi shit to just be more promotion. I feel like every time the shade room posts me, I would drop the song the same day. Mm-hmm. Like I'm trending topic on the internet. Let me benefit off of it. Let me drop a song. Drop a song, drop a song, drop an album, take a song. Yeah, video. Yeah, something. Yeah, something. Mm-hmm. But uh you was talking about earlier how you got connections. And me and you talk privately about all your connections and shit. You like a small percent, like in the dope. Well, uh, what do you think it'll take for you to get all the way in there? I feel like you got the music for it. Yeah, so so my music piece for itself, like, I'm not even on no cocky stuff, but like, yeah, I, definitely not. Like, my music, you know what I'm saying? I, I at least think it's hard. I don't care if y'all, I, would, I, do, I do, but I don't care if y'all think it's hard or not, because I'm gonna make it regardless. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, what I think I gotta do next is really on y'all to be honest. If y'all just help me push this out more, I just gotta get seen, to be honest. That's it. So do you wanna sign to a major or do you wanna stay in Indy? Indy. Unless the major got something that that we can come as business partners to. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If you can sign to a label, what label? Like if they had exist. if every label in the world was on your terms, who would you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. see it, I'm not I'm not just I'm I don't just go off names I go off of, off of people too. So like I ain't never met I ain't never met none of these you know what I'm saying? Well I can't say none of these people but I ain't never met a lot of you know what I'm saying everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I would know. Yeah, I totally understand. I remember Chief Keep did an interview and they asked Chief Keep why did he sign the Interscope? And he said the niggas had Dre and then 50. Them niggas is superstars. So he was like, I felt like it was only right I signed with them. And I feel like when he got his deal, he was 16, so he was young. 
So that makes sense. Like mm-hmm. when you're young, I would I would sign to whoever had the most success, whoever got the most artists that went platinum. Yeah. The most, and that's yeah. But then, but well, I, even when I was younger, bro, I always went up. I'm off of vibes, bro. I'm off. If I can't like vibe with you, or I feel like <laughs> we ain't on the same like terms or nothing. Really, I don't really want to be around you, to be honest. You know, you know what I'm saying? Cause you go, you just gonna bring my energy down. Like I'm big on energy, bro. Like, right. So I don't know if we had this conversation on camera before, but I'm sick and tired of the deluxe shit. Like I'm tired of everybody <laughs> doing it. So what made you do it? Was you, did you do it because like that's the thing right now, or did you do it because like what was the reason? I'm like niggas just dropping another project. Really, because I wanted to put it back to back for real, for real, and I didn't want it to be like two different projects for real. I really wanted to just be make it one project, uh, all the stuff that I really needed to get out there, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because I was dropping it. Really, I, my intentions were to drop it quicker than what I did. Yeah. Like, but so, that's why I was really the deluxe for real. That was too. It was supposed to drop it. In July. Yeah, it was supposed to drop in July. Yeah. Like uh July 7th. What I dropped, I dropped on the seventh, and then I was supposed to drop on like the 14th or the 21st. One of those. Yeah. So I ain't wanted to be like, oh, I'm gonna just listen to this, 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 when it's already just really the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I get yeah. it. When you uh when you was creating a project. How did you pick your features? Because I feel like you did a good amount of features. Like you didn't just fill it up with features, but you didn't leave it like where it's all you. Most people mm-hmm. nowadays want to do their first project all of them. Because mm-hmm. honestly, if I was an artist, that's what I would do. I wouldn't do features till about my third or fourth part. So like that was just going by me picking the songs of what I wanted to hear on the tape. Or yeah. like um uh, some of the songs that I didn't send to my team. Like they was listening to, and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna put it on this. You know what I'm saying? Cause they are already banging that boy a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that just that's just how I went about my features. I was just here and just so long on the phone through the email, <laughs> through the text. Man, that's what I'm saying. Like everybody, like you weren't even the only person that was like listening, you know what I'm saying? My team. So like, I'm all right, I'm gonna put it. It's time to put this up. You know what I'm saying? As far as the feature for real, like, so I didn't probably make the most music with the two features that I got. Yeah. Well, I can't say the, the most, but one of them, yeah, I can say the most, but like the other one, not really. You know what I'm saying? We just not getting started for real. So, and y'all mm-hmm. got them coming together, right? Huh? And that's the person you got that. That you did them five songs with the other night, right? Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, getting it. Oh yeah. Now, Monica, that's slick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be forgetting because you be telling me about people, and I be forgetting, like, because we talk about music so much. Yeah, that's a, that's really all we talk about. For real. Well, not all we talk about, but most it's a majority big of our conversation. Yeah. Now nah, you did a video with E Baby. Y'all bought the whips out, man. What's your favorite car? So that video ain't out yet, but it's coming out. But no, it was, what? No, yet. no, that boy ain't out. We been supposed to put that out. Yeah, y'all, go, so y'all, y'all, y'all gonna get, up. y'all gonna get, huh? It's been so long. I thought it was though. Nah, it ain't out. So y'all gonna get on eBay? Be head about that video. <laughs> Definitely didn't know what. No, that's crazy. But what's my favorite car? Yeah. I got a couple in my collection that I like. I like Lamborghinis. I like, out of my favorites though, I like Rolls Royces. And then I like uh, Maybachs. Yeah, I love Maybachs too. And you was picking like, What was you just gonna say? Really, my favorite, favorite car is called a Pagani. I ain't never heard of that in my life. But the, it's so weird, you can't even get your hands on them. Yeah, I never heard of that. 
Yeah, it's like really one of them super super cars that you buy a build from scratch. Like you custom make from scratch, just about like to fit you. Yeah, I'm gonna prove that car. So like every song don't sound the same with the project, and that's because of you and also the beats. So when you was like beat shopping, what was you looking for, or what do you look for when you look for beats? So the way you got it depends on how you feeling that moment. So it depends on how I'm feeling. Cause sometimes I might not be feeling like talking about this or that type of beat. I ain't feeling like feeling that beat right now. I know I'm saying let me do something else. Or but sometimes it just be like how the beat put together. The beat just talks to me sometimes. I just tell me what it's tell it, tell y'all what it say. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. I'll be sharp. So the last song on the deluxe is called Double Seven. And me and you was going back and forth for the title. So <laughs> why you call it Double Seven and not oh, uh, uh, a line from the actual song? Because <laughs> I, I ain't want to use that title from the actual song. But I call it Double Sevens because it's 14 songs on the, on the, uh, the deluxe. So that's seven plus seven is double, you know what I'm saying? It's 14, so double seven. So I get y'all the first half, that's the last half. You know what I'm saying? The end of the song, double seven. That's how I came up with it. And then you put all those together, that's another seven. So it's seven, seven, seven. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, what's still the same about it? Still the same. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, I thought I got two songs on there. That's that's like similar. I got not the same, and then I got still the same. So I had to think of that. That was gonna be next. <laughs> uh, it was called something else at first. That's why. I, that's why it gave me a minute to think about it. But I'm um, still the same. I'm just still the same dude. Like you can look back a year ago, I'm still the same how I was. You know what I'm saying? Just more knowledgeable, more. More critique, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still gonna be me when I'm a hundred with fifty billion dollars. You feel what I'm saying? Still the same dude, like that's a billion percent true. I've been knowing you since the first reaction that I did for you, which was what about two years ago. And you literally is the same. For real, for real. I mean, still, the still the same. <laughs> that's some real shit. Now, uh, not the same. What's that about? That's damn near the same title, but it's, but it's two different vibes. It's two different vibes. So not the same. It's like more like a relationship stuff. With for y'all, I ain't really been in no relationship just to put y'all down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but just for me, like witnessing other people being in relationships and stuff like that, or like. Problems that I didn't have with like different females. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people change. So I'd be like, no, that's where I got it from. Like, it's just not the same. Like, not, not the same no more. Since this happened, everything not the same no more. So I just feel like it was relatable to a lot of people. A lot of people can relate to that song because really, everybody really can relate to that song because yeah. I'm pretty sure you can came across situations that. Oh, uh, since this is not happen, like the vibe is just off. Like, yeah, so. damn there. If the girl ain't cheat and we was in a relationship or whatever, or if she ain't did nothing funny, she either definitely changed. Mm -hmm. That's usually one of the things they either do you wrong or they just don't act the same way as they used to. Mm -hmm. And I be hating that, especially like when a girl is like a freak and then she get less freaky. <laughs> That should be the worst. That that happened to me before. Hurt my soul. Or even like <laughs> people like, I mean, I know I didn't see people females then then type like, oh, since we didn't got a relationship, we didn't put a title on it. You want to act different now? This and this and that. I didn't do the same things. So that's why I really like it. It is relatable to everybody. Like anybody can relate to that song. Yeah, yeah or female. So yeah, yeah real. Mm -hmm. Now you don't know what's that about. You don't know. <laughs> uh, really, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people assumed like, 
You can't judge a book by its cover. It's a lot of things that you don't know in the other person's life. You know what I'm saying? Somebody could be going through this and this and that, and you might not ever know about it. You feel what I'm saying? Because they ain't never told you. It's yeah. a lot of things that people go through and they don't know how to vent to, vent to people or they rather not vent to people. You know what I'm saying? So that's really, well, I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say that's really why I made that song. I just really made that song because like, that's just how I was feeling. I ain't gonna lie to you. It kind of the vibe what they say because it's like, they say this about you, but they don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You don't know because you don't even know. They say this about me, but they don't know. But you don't know why I'm acting like this. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Never. I mean, I mean, yeah. Now, uh, keep it real. That's like real. Forever. What that song about? Like, let's be one hundred. Like, I really was feeling some type of way when I made that song. Like, about like I be. Throughout my life, that's kind of where changes came from. Like people didn't switch to change sides, or I can peep like people just being like there just for the moment. Yeah, that's true. Some people just there for the jokes. And some people really there for the ropes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you just gotta <laughs> like let's keep it 100. Like you weren't there when I started from ground zero. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't support me then. Like, why is you supporting me now, for real, for real? That's the type of stuff I was really young. Yeah. Like, right. you, see me, you see me at the worst of the worst. You wouldn't root for me then, like, pick me up. Oh, yeah, get me motivated to come back. Oh, yeah, you got to say back this, this, and that, bro. Keep going, this, this, and that. Yeah. A lot of people, I just come across, like, whether they mean it or not. I mean, I guess sometimes some people just, like, just don't know how to, I guess, encourage others or, like, you feel what I'm saying? Don't know how to, I guess you can say. They don't know how to uplift. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know how to uplift people, but. Yeah, I know some girls who don't know how to do that. Like, if a dude, like, if they don't do something, they'll go to a dude to, for that. But then, mm-hmm. like, when a dude going through something, they'll be like, oh, well, talk to me when you feel better. Like, then, you bitch, like, you're not gonna, like, do what you expect to do for you. Right. Like dudes is better at but it. but then again though, but then again though, like so cause I, I ain't gonna say that I'm good at like uplifting others and stuff like that. But it's just like um it's just a simple fact though, it's like like there's there's things that you can do to like show that you you got you know what I'm saying, you really rooting for a person or you know what I'm saying, without even talking, you know what I'm saying? You can just it's just simple things that you can do. Like, I told you. Like, say, say for instance, I post a song, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, I post a song. I read a song, and then, I mean, you could you could either say it's hard or not, or even if you don't think it's hard, you know what I'm saying? You still can, you know what I'm saying? Y'all still can check this out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or anything like that. It's just like. I don't know. I guess people don't know how to show support sometimes, where some people just like think they just better than others. You feel what I'm saying? It just mm-hmm. that kind of remind me of a story. Um, I was probably like 21, and I was talking to this girl, and me and her used to talk every day. And she was new, like she had just came into my life for like like a month, and then I broke my toenail, and the toenail got infected, so I had to get IVs. And I had to stay in the hospital for like six weeks. So when I, so like the last time I talked to her, she was like, hey, what you doing? This was before FaceTime, I think. I think this was like Uber or Skype. So we was like Uber or Skype on an Android, I think. And I was like, I'm about to go to the hospital because my toe infected. She was like, all right, call me and let me know like, what's up? So then when I got to the hospital and they told me I was going to be there for a couple of weeks, the girl, I called the girl and she was like, yeah, so what's the update? You know, I'm like, yeah, they told me I was gonna have to be here for a couple of weeks and if the infection don't get better, they're gonna have to cut my toe off or whatever. Long story short, they ended up having to cut it off. So she was like, oh, okay, this is my first day in the hospital. I'm first day getting uh, admitted. She was like, all right. <clears throat> and then she was like, I'm gonna call you back. Long story short, I was in the hospital for three weeks. 
I was on Twitter. And then the day they let me out three weeks later, I tweeted, like, and I'm finally glad to be out the hospital. That bitch called me that same day. <laughs> and was like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, you didn't check on me. The last time I talked to you was the day that they admitted me in here. Now the day that they discharged me, you want to call back. I'm like, right. and like, you don't owe me no loyalty or nothing, but like, damn, you say you like me, like you could at least call for like 10 minutes a day just to see right. how Cause like, you don't know if I'm in this bitch dying or not. Like, I know it's just a broke toenail, but like, and the crazy thing about it is we all know if the roles was reversed, they'd be sick about us. They'd be mad. Oh, oh you ain't check on me no nothing. So yeah, I totally understand. <clears throat> My last question, since the last interview 13 months ago, your hair grew a lot. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep it? How long am I gonna keep it? Yeah, like what length is like, all right, it's too much. Uh, I said to like by my shoulders. I ain't gonna lie, this has been the longest I've been ever kept a hairstyle. <laughs> so I'm just trying to have the discipline and at least grow it to where I want to. If I don't like it, hey, all I can say is I tried. All right. So if we get like past your shoulders, we gonna cut them parts just to keep it back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm for sure. I don't want it to go past my shoulders and stuff like that. Is it a this might sound kind of weird to you, but like, this is really like a common thing. But like, was it a person that made you want to grow your hair? Cause like Bow Wow said, Alan Harbison made him want braids. And the game said, and if she hustled, made him want braids. And Dave e said, uh, Dave e said, Carmelo made him want braids. From back when Carmelo used to be with the braids. This, this is what I wanted my hair. So I, I didn't have dreads like uh, my freshman year of high school. My freshman year of high school, messing with like Chief Keith and stuff came out. But he ain't the reason why I wanted dreads, though. I played football and I used to think it was so hard to have your dreads underneath your helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I used to think that was just so hard, me and my brother. So we just, we finna grow these boys, you know what I'm saying? Not knowing really how long it really takes for, because our hair is not really, like, it's kind of, we got soft hair. So it was kind of harder for our hair to like lock and stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what really made me want to grow it. So, like, did you go around with the dreads now? That's the same reason? Huh? So, like, this go around with the dreads, dreads now is the same reason? Just, like, the football? Uh, this go around, I, I'm, I want it because I was, like, man, I told myself I was – because back then I wanted my hair, like, you know what I'm saying, to my shoulders. Yeah. But this go around, I told myself I was, like, Cause my hair would have been there white by now. You know what I'm saying? If you were still had your hair from the freshman year, your shit would have been fucking elbows. It'd have been longer than that. <laughs> yeah. Freshman year, I've been out of high school for for years. <laughs> that shit been real long. That was like almost a decade ago. Like yeah. freshman year for real. Right. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I this go around. I just told myself like. I don't know. I just, I just always thought that was hard, and then I got relatives that got long hair too. That grew ears like the same time I had mine. And I was like, dang, what if I just kept mine? You know what I'm saying? Mine are being just as long. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm growing mine, and to see, see if I can really thug it out, for it, really stick it out for the hairstyle. This as long as I ever had one. So yeah, that really shows patience. Yeah. That was my last question, man. I appreciate the interview. It's another classic. We got really deep compared to the first one. Like, this no, we shit, did. This shit is a good one, man. For real, for I'm, real, man. When you want, is it a date that you want me to drop this? No, you can drop it whenever. It's on your time. I'm going to drop it. It's for you. You drop me a music video on Monday. I'm going to drop the reaction to the music video on Tuesday. And I'm going to drop the interview next Wednesday. So I'm like, Eight days. Sure, sure. Y'all keep running noble stuff up, man. Y'all know what time it is. You got anything you want to say before we, we sign up? I ain't got really nothing to say for real. Um, just keep rocking with your boy songs and stuff. Let me know y'all favorite song off the tape. You know what I'm saying? 
really let me know your favorite song in general. To be honest, I'd be really want to hear like a lot of people's feedback and what they think that's really their favorite for real. You know what I'm saying? The Lux, the second half slide together. And then on the first half, it's really hard. Cause like I love changes, but some days I listen to they say more than changes. Some days I listen to my dog more than they say. I listen to celebration a lot. That's just me. I like celebrating. I'm a celebrating type of person. Yeah, I like conquering know. goals and celebrating. Hey. I already know. Nigga, see your Snapchat memory. You love celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> For real, for real. If but you shit, know, you know. Facts. But shit, man, we finna sign out. Yes, sir. Follow him on all everything. Instagram. Uh, ME770, man. You know what I'm saying? Except for on Instagram, ME770, two underscores on Instagram. You want all streaming platforms? You want Spotify, Pandora? Type you want of everything. Platform? Everything, just go look me up, man. Y'all know what time it is. Another classic in the chambers. Man. Yeah, yeah.